Yeah. That's all public service. Robert, y'all have anything to say? Okay. Now, yeah. ladies first. Susanna. Thank you. What, you know, I knew I was in a group of gentlemen when I came in this morning. I was escorted in by one. Uh, good morning. It's nice to be back with you. I came solo today. And thank you for escorting me in these meetings. I appreciate it. My name is Suzanne Moore. For those of you that may not know me, I am a candidate for clerk of court, and I'm so delighted to be able to come here this morning and briefly just remind you that we do have an election on June the 12th. And I'm offering myself up to be the next clerk of court because I believe that I can make a difference. All of you that come to this meeting want to make a difference. The people that make comments about property rights, about any type of freedoms from our government, we all want to make a, a difference in what we say and what we do. I believe because of my experience working at the clerk of court for almost five years and dealing with the citizens of Lexington, I know up close and personal what goes on at the courthouse. And I believe very strongly that by being a clerk of court that is present daily, and I mean every day, not 134 days out of 270 days, it's very important to have a clerk that's there that's willing to help. Now our current clerk really and truly eight, seven years ago started out doing, I think she really felt like she was making a difference. And I, I voted for her, to be perfectly honest. Um, I, I was very, very uh, interested in learning what went on at court, and I used that knowledge when I was working for her to learn what was going on and what happened. Unfortunately, I saw too often how people were treated, and that's the reason she made me her executive assistant, because I could reach out to people, and I have a people personality. And I look forward to going back into that role and helping the people of Lexington and making a difference at the courthouse. The people that work there need to have someone that they are honored to serve and they need to have someone that will be a good public servant and will do a wonderful job. Now I'm not here to persuade you one way or the other. I'm just telling you that I'm one of you. I want to make a difference in my community just like you do. And I think if we all remember that, that we're here to make a difference, then our community and this county in particular will be a better place than we live. Thank you for your consideration, America. Those of you that don't know Lexington, it's a wonderful place to live, and the courthouse is a wonderful place to work. Thank you very much. Susan, I got a question. Tommy Linter is saying that, uh, that Beth is not uh, putting enough documents online, that are, there are public documents that you go to the, the clerk's office and see in person, but they're not online. Beth said, says that she's not authorized by the state to I do that. I heard that she, I heard her say that. Um, unfortunately, part of that is true, part of it's not. The process of putting, scanning them and getting them online is an incredible undertaking. We have gone back with the courthouse back until 98 to scan all the records to make them available so that they can be on the, uh, can be on the computers to pull up, um, but to make them available to the public citizens. There are laws that are in place because Social yeah, Security. But, but Tommy, Tommy's saying not not documents that aren't available to the public. Any, he's saying that anything that's available that you can go out and look at, you know, that is available to the public should be scanned. So um, well, I think they're they're in the process of making these available because through the scanning process. Now Beth keeps saying that the legislature has not voted either enough money or has not made it legal for us to make those uh, presentable or uh, available to the public. Um, I'm not quite sure if you want to know the truth that Tommy knows exactly what is going on at the courthouse. Um, I That's think why his, I was asking you. I think, his, I think his heart is in the right place, but I think Ms. Kerrig is correct when she says that right now we're waiting. She doesn't have the legal right to make those documents available. She is right about that. Yeah, well, she, he's not talking about ones that aren't available to the public. He's only talking about ones that are available to the public that, that haven't have been seen. Have are, there, are there documents like that? Well, there are documents um, that possibly could fall into that category if they have not been closed or sealed by a judge. But right now, until we have everything available to make certain that people's privacy, social security numbers, uh, addresses, information that the general public really has no business in knowing uh, until we can make sure that the public is protected from knowing that information. We have to make certain that people's privacy is uh, represented and protected. 
So Tommy is, Tommy's right and Beth is right in that. Um, they, they're, they both have about this much um, rightness as far as uh, documents are concerned. I appreciate you asking the question. I don't know that I made it. Made a difference. That's but a very diplomatic answer. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Corey. That's very kind. You can say so. Got one, one more question. So I have a question just because I'm in the middle of a probate thing with my father in another state. So how much information is Lexington looking at putting up? Because my address, even though I'm not named in my father's will, my name, my address, and all of this information has become public information in the state up there so what are they are they trying I think, to protect people here from that well i think that's I what i that. think that's what the legislature what we're going back to now how much information can be made available yeah. that's what we're looking at um to protect uh, the privacy of individual citizens and to protect i mean there are freedom of information rights that we do have i'm working on a case myself now um but we need to talk to your legislatures, legislators about it. The clerk of court has absolutely nothing to do with what the legislature is doing. We are merely the person that is the keeper of the records that manages and does what the legislature tells us we can do in court administration in downtown Columbia. Yes? I don't know what the law is in South Carolina, but I know what the law in North Carolina is. <coughs> my mother and sister died and left a house to me and my nephew. My nephew was uh, made the executor of the will, so he could rent the house out until he found the buyer, okay? When he found the buyer, the buyer's check went to his lawyer, and then the lawyer had to make sure all bills were paid that my sister and mother uh, had, and then she, made distribution of the rest of the money to me and my nephew. That way there could be no shenanigans between my nephew and me. The lawyer had to make the distribution. So I hope that's the law here at South Carolina. I'm sorry. Well, let's, uh, a lot of these are... Uh, a specifics yeah. to the probate court. Yeah. Once different, again. Different court. Let's, uh, let's, let's end this because it's time for it. Okay. Thank you very much. I th Ross, Ross did have one I, I, I just want to comment uh, real quick. Um, I've done some research on this thing of county records online, and, and it seems that it's the pressure is coming from the counties to the state. The state's not just all of a sudden saying you can do it. And nationwide, many counties are going to the states, and so states are enacting laws saying, here's what you can do. Um, and the problem comes in in the privacy things, blocking out social security numbers, driver's licenses, addresses. But many states have overcome that, and, and some of the municipal city and county offices um, courts are doing that now, and it's a growing thing. So it, it's just a it's matter of time before we get it. There's a lot of information, you know, we addressed some of these issues before, but because of the limitations of time, we'll, we'll end this. Let's get this out of hand, folks. Thank you very much.